Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome. Well, what have I been up to? I've been getting scrappy with scrap yarn. One of my goals this year was to use up as much scrap yarn as I could in different projects, whether they be bigger projects, medium or little projects. But to use up a lot of scrap yarn, which I do have quite a bit of. So, I'd be making different things, but I hit a bit of a slump. I'm running out of ideas what I could do with some of the smaller pieces. And I was watching Michelle's Makery video, Michelle from New Zealand. Hi, Michelle. And she made um, the comment she had joined a make along where you use scrap yarn for small gifts. And I thought, this sounds like a good idea. She was showing some of the things she'd made. So I went to check it out, and it's Coco's Crochet. Now what's her name? Lissa. I think that's how you pronounce it, Lissa. And um, she's doing Cal 2024, where you make little gifts or things you can sell at a craft market using scrap yarn or leftover yarn. There's no amigurumi, so there's nothing you need to buy, no additional you know, stuffing or adornments. And what she does is she has a bowl and she has all these things on bits of paper and she draws one out. I think it's Fortnite. Look, there'll be a link to the beginning of her make along in the description below. It started in January and it's every two weeks. And her first one out was Mug Cozies, which is what I was watching on Michelle's Makery. And I thought, now that's an idea. I haven't made any of those for a while. My normal go-to Mug Cozy is, it is called Mug Cozy Coaster Combo by Building Blessings, Karen Wright from her Etsy shop. Now, I actually tested this for her. The only time I pattern tested for anyone. And yes, I love this and I usually make quite a bit of them. But I thought, oh, well, let's see what else I can find. Well, I did do a bit of research and I found one I thought was kind of cute. It's called The Mug Hug by Yarn Inspirations. And it's a free pattern. Ta-da! This one. And I thought, well, that's a bit different. I might try that. So would you like to see my mug hug? Well, here he is. I'm not sure the moustache is as good as theirs, but I've made one. And I can't help myself. I had to do a little extra adornment to make it look, I don't know, more unique to me. And a little button. So that's just made in some um, Spotlight Super Saver um, scrap white yarn that I have a lot of and some left over. And when I made that one, I decided I'd make another one. And because it's Valentine's Day and I had red on the go, I made this one. Now the actual applique heart that I've sewn on, I've had that for about four years in my craft supplies. I bought a heap of them when they were on special or being thrown out on discount at one of the big stores. And I thought, well, you never know, I might use those or give this two to a packet, give them away as part of a little giveaway. And I did have two left, so I've used one on this mug. It's a great size and I really do like it. It's really easy to make. So yes, more Super Saver scrap yarn and I used a five millimeter crochet hook. So they were the two mug hugs I made from a pattern. Then I decided I would wing it and have a go myself with some leftover kitchen cotton that I have. It's not great, it's a bit loose on this mug, but there you go. And there's a little button there. And yes, I used some of my buttons from my friend Uwea gave me, that big box of buttons. And I thought, well, that's not too bad. The idea being I would sell some on my um, charity stall in April. Now, Karen, fortune, I was fortunate she's always donating little things for me to sell because I fundraise for charity. And she actually sent me two mug hugs in a spa set or mug coaster combo in a spa set. She sent me the pink and the green, which is slipping off because it would, wouldn't it? So I went out and bought two very reasonably priced cups that are at a department store being thrown out on special. So what I would normally do, I might put a coffee bag and a tea bag and then I wrap them in cellophane with a ribbon and sell them as a little gift set. But they are actually made by Karen 
from her pattern the mug coaster combo see it's closed in with a coaster I have sold quite a few of these before when I've made them and she usually makes them with like um, a sugar and cream or you know like a 10 ply cotton and um, yeah that's what I plan to do with the two she donated put some tea bags in the pot and then gift wrap them up and sell them the thing is I don't know what to sell them for now so if you've got any ideas like if that's all nicely gift wrapped in cellophane what would you pay for a little gift like that um the first charity stall if it goes ahead is in April well at mid April and I thought I'd do a Mother's Day gift table for people to look at so that was the first week then I was watching Michelle again and the second week had been announced which is headbands or ear warmers so I went back over to um, Lisa's channel watched her video and yes I thought wow I haven't made those for ages so what I do at my craft store is even though I live in the tropics I have a basket of discounted sale beanies and ear warmers because a lot of people here may go on holidays where it's cold or cooler climate or down south or overseas and they often say you can't get anything like that here so basically the pricing of them is they're generally the cost of the yarn plus maybe two dollars for profit which gets you know the fee comes out of and then a little bit left over to donate to charity so I have these discounted beanie head warmer basket or ear warmer basket and I can sell up to four or five at a market which is pretty good for the tropics so I thought well I have the perfect ear warmer pattern as we could do headbands or ear warmers I won this pattern on Instagram years ago absolutely years ago from Rel at the dabbling hook hi Rel yes I really really like it and I don't know why I haven't made any for a while other than I do know when I was checking I don't have any ear warmers in my discounted beanie headwear basket so I made three the first one is made over with leftover carrying cake this one so it's the Kalini Kalina Kalina headband but I make them a, a, a row or two bigger so they're ear warmers and this one fits me perfectly I read and I've never really worn an ear warmer but I might consider it so that's leftover carrying cake using a five millimeter crochet hook these two were using a six millimeter crochet hook because it's a, a five weight yarn and it's Lion Brown's Woolies Tonal and this is some beautiful red for Valentine's Day so I made one in that color and then I had some of this blue variegated I'm not sure it turned out as well but there you go because of the variegation but yeah I made three ear warmers for week two of Coco's Crochet and I think it's just hashtag cow 2024 the idea being that you know if you want to have lots of little gift things ready for Christmas that you can have on hand to give away like for me a mug hug or a um, coaster combo like this in a nice reasonably priced inexpensive cup makes a great teacher's present now I can tell you my son's a teacher and he says he gets lots of mugs the other thing is if it's a female teacher a ear warmer if she's in the cold climate or a headband is really great I know I sell a lot of tea towels with crochet toppers and yes I do plan to do a demonstration when I'm fully healed for all those people that have asked for one and um, yeah a lot of those at around Christmas time are for teachers so, so oh, that's perfect for a male teacher or so yes I know my son quite likes the tea towels with the tea towel topper because hey blokes live on their own they've got to have tea towels too so they're actually quite really good gift ideas even the headbands I've thought about like little headbands I should try and make one and see what Emma thinks my little friend Emma but yes the Monk Hug by Yarn Inspirations free pattern sorry I've dropped my patterns the coast the cozy mug cozy co coaster combo combo let me say that again mug cozy coaster combo 
by um, Karen Wright at Building Blessings, available on Etsy. And yes, right now, she's got it on sale. So be quick. I think it's about $2.80 Australian, maybe $3. And then the Kalina Headband by Rel at the Dabbling Hook. She's got hers on Etsy. So make sure you check them out. They are paid for patterns. Um, for me, if it's, I was really lucky to win Rel's pattern on Instagram. I've never won anything else and that's the first time ever and I was so over the moon that I had won a pattern. So guys if you do go to Etsy to check out their shops can you check out mine and favorite a few items. Since my funny review my Etsy shop isn't doing that great and getting that many views so if you favorite the items it builds it up in the algorithms and helps me out and maybe get noticed again. I do need to add some stuff to freshen it up. But hey, I know um, Building Blessings has a discount sale on at the moment. I think it's about 15% off some of her items. So make sure you check them out. Make sure you check Michelle's Makery channel out and say hi and give her a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining the make along with Coco's crochet please join I'm doing it for inspiration I'm sort of hanging out for the next week to see what she comes up with um, and yes it just because I want to use up some scrap yarn basically that's what motivates me and this make along is inspiring me to make different things traditionally I just make little amigurumis or whatever but I've made some headbands and mug hugs and mug poster combos are next on the list. Okay, guys, I hope that's informative, that you find some use for your scrap yarn. Let me know what you think I should sell my mug with a tea, tea bag and coffee bag all done up as a gift. What price would you pay? That's my biggest problem is pricing them up because the actual mug, mug coaster combo was donated by Karen and I bought a cheap mug and I put in those so they don't have to be too expensive and I really do think it's a great idea at my next market to have like a Mother's Day gift table where people can buy reasonably priced gifts because right now life is very expensive so until next time take care stay well and maybe you should have a go at making a mug cozy or a mug cozy co um, coaster combo. Bye for now.